It seems to be proving quite difficult. It's a bit of an underground maze, Singapore. Well, it totally is, but the whole getting into, getting out of the hotel really is a bit of a challenge. So I think we want to head to the City Hall MRT station again. Um, we'll head that way. So all the... Um, Hotels seem to interlink too via these underground shopping centres. The advantage of that, of course, is the fact that they're everywhere. True. Oh, that's So when travelling, all that you need to do is start looking for benchmarks yeah. and remember where something is. Like this mall. Which is quite cool, because we're entering into another mall effectively again, but we remembered that yesterday, but it's 9am. They don't really get going until about 11. We're at the MRT ticketing office just to get some a three-day pass. Thank you very much. So we're at City Hall, which City Hall is that one. So we want to get City Hall to that. Yeah, and then we go there through to Chinatown. When's the next one turn up? Three minutes. We picked up our card, Singapore Tourist Pass. It was very, very easy to do so. Unlike Shanghai, where we actually tried a few times and eventually gave up. So that was a quick trip, it's only one stop for us. So far, so good on the MRT experience. Sweaty. Except for the masks. Except for the masks. And we've popped out. In Chinatown. In Chinatown. <laughs> so we're in the Chinatown Heritage Centre. All right. Yeah, that already smells. Yep. It's the perfect shop. It is the perfect shop. Ah, oh, little chilies. Love Chinatown. There's places like everything we want, everything we want, everything we're looking for. <laughs> All the old buildings and stuff. Found the time, found 
cool. It's one of the recommended pauper markets, so let's go and see what we can find. Inside toilets. <laughs> I thought that was actually people standing there. So did I. I <laughs> need chicken ice, satay. Let's go down here. Uh, Roxette? Yeah. Uh, Roxette chicken rice? Uh, do you want the drumstick? Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, that will be five minutes. Okay, here we are. Pioneer's chicken rice. Chili Looks sauce. divine. Ginger sauce. Bit of dark soy. So this is our first quarter pick fruit. With the famous chicken rice. So we went for the roast chicken. I know it's not very much, but... Chili is uh, quite chilly. It's not. Nice. It's got that freshness that it's supposed to have. I'm not doing much better. Very nice. The soup there is quite nice, quite mild. A bit of coriander in it. Not, not everyone's cup of tea coriander. I don't know why. The rice is um, mildly flavoured and really fresh. The iced tea is really refreshing. So we've just had um, Hyanese chicken at this uh, hawker store and we were served by... Hi Casey, I'm Casey. Hi Casey. Thank you very much for Thank a wonderful you. meal. Thank you so much. Cheers. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Something that we find so common throughout Asia is the laundry drying. So how was your first meal? I really enjoyed it. And the people were absolutely lovely. It was really hard to get out. We walked around in circles about. It, it is, it's, it's, I mean, it's an entire floor, uh, which is just maze. What a great feed. Where's the next one? We haven't decided yet whether we're going to sort of migrate towards Gardens by the Bay um, or Sentosa. And that will be the first of a few meals today. That's the thing. Absolutely. They're really gorgeous here, really. This is the grass that Pete fell in love with when we first went to Cambodia. Really soft. And big plates. You uh, randomly stumbled across the Buddha Tooth Relic Temple. So while we're here. Ooh, that, ooh, Maxwell Walker said. <laughs> Thinking we can try that technique with the panorama. The photo we can try that. Not sure where we're supposed to be or what we're supposed to be doing. Mm. 
Oh, it does remind me of the 10,000 footers. just come out of there. Greg's feeling a little bit under the leather. So we'll see uh, see how we go. This is our street. How fantastic is that? See them all right now. Chengdu taste. This is the fruit that will kill you on impact. Also known as durian. Okay, what do you got there? Durian. Durian, right. Actually, I didn't see which one it was. Like, it must have been a good one because it was very specific. <laughs> well, it's a very spiky one. <laughs> That's good. Mm. <laughs> Your turn. Alright. Actually, it's not a strong taste. It is very custody. It is custody. You do keep eating it, so it can't be that bad. No, no, it's not bad, but. <laughs> but. I say it's not bad. No, no, I. Yeah, that's enough durance. I like it. Yeah, look, it's a very distinctive taste. But, you know, I mean, it's not something that I would rush out to buy. Well, it's a bit busier now. It's quarter past 12. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was real too. What's with these mannequins that keep fooling me? That Japanese place. Yeah. Lanterns. 